Hey, this is James Pelton, and we've been caught up in looking at all these high yield, short term plays where we get have rug pulls and all this. So I did want to bring to mind just some of the projects that I'm actually excited about in a long term way. And it can be difficult to look at crypto projects long term vision because we're so used to get into that short term. We want to get rich quickly. We check the charts and say, hey, I bought this coin. It's been two months. Why is the coin not higher than when I bought it? But when you talk about real businesses, you talk about venture capital or when you're investing in a startup or something like that, people that invest in those types of businesses are not looking for one month or two month or three month returns. A lot of times you have to be very patient. A lot of times you're looking for, hey, we think this could be a billion dollars in 10 years and that's what you're kind of aiming at so one of those projects that i am excited about the long-term vision of is biofi biometric financial and i want to be up front just let you know that i am an advisor on the team but i want to be very clear that i don't talk highly of biofi i don't believe in biofi because i'm an advisor i became an advisor because I believe in their long-term vision and I wanna help them on the marketing side of things. I wanna help them get their vision across to people. So that's what we're doing here today. So what is BioFi? So BioFi is focused on biometrics on the blockchain. Okay, so biological markers about yourself that you can use to identify yourself. So like your thumbprint would be part of your biometric profile, your face, your voice, all those things are part of your biometrics. And BioFi's goal is to use your biometrics put them on the blockchain, and then you can use them to identify yourself anywhere, really. So I think anytime you're talking about a project like this, you wanna look at, okay, what's the long-term vision? And that's something we're working on. We're gonna redo the website because I think long-term vision is hidden on the website. And a lot of people think, well, I don't, what is BioFi? What are they trying to do? So we're gonna make this more prominent, but here's some of the things that BioFi is looking to do with their biometrics. And the first is they want to allow you to use biometrics on your mobile devices. Okay, you might think we already have that. You know, you can already use Apple, you can already use Google, but one thing here is they wanna put it on the blockchain so that we're not relying on big tech to store our data. I'm not super keen on Apple having my thumbprint and my face scan and my voice and all this in their database, in their centralized database. So one way around that is you can take all that data and make it decentralized. But there are some big things that you could do with this. One of them I saw here, and I love this, is need a method to verify a vote where one person can be identified as having cast a single vote in an election. It would be a long time, I'm in the US, it'd probably be a long time before we change our election system to do something like this. In a lot of African countries where they're building the election systems as they go, and election fraud is a big deal to a lot of people, what better way than having your biometric scan, each eye print gets one vote or something like that. And it could be on the blockchain, it could be, it'd be very hard to tamper with results that way, it'd be very hard for people to get two votes, things like that. So I mean, that's, that's something down the road that this could be huge for. Another thing is just your standard web passwords. I would say one of the one of the most stressful things in my day, and I'll grant it, I live a pretty privileged life, I'll say, but I forget passwords and I'm always resetting passwords and then it signs me out of all the other devices and then when I get on the other device, I have to reset the password again and it's a huge pain. If we could somehow just get biometrics on the blockchain that authenticate us into everything, Personally, I would love that. And I'll leave a link to this page. You can look through some of their kind of long-term visions that they're planning to put into place. But right now, some of the products that they have, they have their own wallet. This Saytech technology, I think, is probably their top product right now. It's basically just something that existing apps can put into their application that now makes you use your voice and your face print to do different things. So they have some huge partnerships, specifically in Africa. Again, when every time you're trying to get, make disruptive technology, it's really hard to get it in the US because then everybody have already got their tech stack kind of all laid out. It'd be very difficult to go in and change the tech stack. But when you have developing countries like in Africa, uh, you can go in at the ground level while they're building like money transfer via mobile phones. They have these partnerships with some of the biggest phone providers in Africa to say, hey, anytime you're sending money to someone else, you're going to be using Saytech technology and you're gonna to have to verify with your voice and with your face 
to send that money. So they have a lot of other things in the works. They have the Unis Safe Box, which is a password manager, which we've seen, you know, LastPass got hacked. We're, we're needing more things like this. They have their own phone that they're coming out with. And again, could probably do a full video. As it comes closer, I'll do more videos just about the phone. It's gonna have kind of two parts to it. One part's gonna be a normal phone. One part's gonna be a blockchain phone. So a cool idea if you're into crypto and into the blockchain. Another aspect of BioFi that we don't talk very much about, in fact, I don't think I've really ever even mentioned it on one of my videos, is this ethos metaverse, okay? And a lot of times people hear metaverse and they're like, what is this? Why would I care? Why do we need another metaverse? But they're using the metaverse in a very unique way. You see on their homepage, the partner, and by the way, Biometric Financial, I think they're one of the best partnership creators that I've ever encountered in business. Every single week they're coming to me and saying, hey, we just partnered with Tell Solutions Africa. That's one of the biggest cell phone providers in Africa. They just constantly have partnership after partnership, which I think is why this ecosystem has the potential to really grow. But the partnership I really wanna focus on is this HVAC REDU, okay? And this probably doesn't mean anything to you. It doesn't mean much to me either, but HVAC REDU is one of the largest HVAC training companies in the United States. So their job is we train people on how to work on HVAC systems. Okay, and it's like, what does that have to do with the metaverse? What they're partnering with BioFi for is that in the metaverse, they're going to have HVAC systems and then allow the workers to come into the metaverse, the ethos metaverse right here, and they can practice situations and repairing HVAC systems without obviously the hazards of actually working on an HVAC system, having all those HVAC systems around, it's all gonna be done in the metaverse. So I think this is an area that I haven't seen a lot of in crypto is education in the metaverse. And that's something that they're really wanting to focus on. I think that's exciting. They are planning on doing games and things like that. They currently have the Doge Run Mint. So you can actually mint these right now. And there's there's dog racing in there. They have a lot of plans for the Ethos metaverse. But the education piece is what I really think. I haven't seen a lot of projects doing that before. And sometimes people look at the chart and they say, hey, this isn't doing anything. What's the point? But but we don't even have a year yet that the BioFi token's been here on CoinMarketCap. And again, I, for me, I consider this to be a long-term thing. This is this reminds me more of the venture capital deals that I get into where, hey, we're looking in five years, in 10 years, to potentially be a billion-dollar company. I, again, I don't know how that's all gonna work out, but that's how I'm thinking of this play. So something like that where you're looking to position yourself for the future, for the uh, the bull run that's gonna come someday, Lord willing. But I, I just dollar cost average in, and then I'm not checking the price every day because again, that's not how real businesses work. The price of, if you look at the stock market, the price of stocks doesn't go up every day. That's just not how it works. But you're looking for a long-term vision as they get their partnerships in place, as they get more people into the ecosystem, has a lot of potential. And with these partnerships, as this HVAC company brings in revenue, as Tell Solutions, as people are using the Satec technology and that brings in revenue, for BioFi, they're going to use a big chunk of that revenue to buy BioFi tokens off of the open market. So again, I think there's huge potential here. So for me, I'm mostly DCAing and then staking. So you can buy off of Trader Joe. They are available on a couple centralized exchanges, Mexi and La Token. But for me, Trader Joe, I just go here, swap. I have AVAX in there right now, so I could swap for some BioFi tokens. And then when you get your BioFi tokens, this is a nice newer feature, but you can go to their DAP, you want to, you're a user, then you can stake in these different plans depending on how much BioFi you have, but you can get 15% all the way up to 30%. I and mean, full utility is that's if you take advantage of everything they have to offer, you can get that, that higher percentage. And what they've just added recently is you can actually add to your stakes. So this was pretty annoying before for me as a dollar cost average type person where you could put in a stake but then you could not add to your stake. So you had to wait till your stake was done to put more into it. But now you can add tokens into your stake. On top of holding, waiting for that price appreciation, waiting for the revenue to start coming in, you also get this 30% rewards from what you're doing. So calls to action. First off, 
just hop into the ecosystem. Follow on Twitter, I'll leave all the links down below. Hop into the Telegram, hop into the Discord. Just get to know the team a little bit, get to learn about the community. I'll leave a link to the website. We are redoing the website. First off, I don't like these uh, like colored backgrounds um, and things like that. I'm gonna try to put some of the future vision stuff more forefront on the page. But that's the first thing you can do, join the community. Second off, you can start dollar cost averaging in. Maybe it'd be $100 a month or something like that. You can start putting a little bit in and then creating a position for BioFi where if it does take off at some point, you're in a good position to profit from that. And then don't forget, as you DCA in, go stake it. Again, there's no reason to not get your 30% APR if you can do it. And also be thinking how biometrics might fit in with some of the stuff that you're doing with your business. So if you are an if you have an existing app or a website or something like that, you can come here and get in touch with the team and you can actually put their biometrics into your app. A lot of apps that could take advantage of that. If you know of another business that you think would benefit from this, you can fill out the referral form and they'll get in touch and work out all the details and then you can actually profit from this, bringing companies to BioFi. And if you wanna get involved in the metaverse side of things, again, I think a lot of, this might be worthy of its own video, but you can download the beta of the metaverse and check it out, see what they have going on. And for now, what you can do is you can race these doges. It's fun, It's not you're not gonna spend hours racing doges, probably. But again, this is just an intro to the ecosystem. And as they start adding more things, more educational pieces, there could be a lot going on here as well. Hope this was helpful for you. Please hit the like button on your way out. Let me know what other projects you'd like me to quick updates on this. Uh, maybe Constellation, Flux, Kadena. These are some of my longer term plays that I believe in. But yeah, I appreciate you guys very much and hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks.